Welcome to English Listening and Vocabulary. Section 2. You will hear a radio program giving parents advice about buying cots for their babies to sleep in. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 17. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 17. Hello and welcome to today's Buyer Beware program, where we give you some tips on how to spend your money wisely. Now, in today's show, we're looking at beds for children and babies. Let's start by looking at baby cots. That's for children of up to three years old. We tested three different cots, all in the budget price range, and as usual, we will feature the good points, the problems, and our verdict. The first cot we looked at was by BabySafe, and it had several good points to recommend it. Our testers liked the fact that it had four wheels, so it was easy to move around. The only slight problems with this cot were that it had no brakes, but they didn't think that mattered too much. At first, they were a bit concerned about the side bar because they felt babies could trap their fingers in it. But our testers felt that this was unlikely to happen, so they've given this one a verdict of satisfactory. The next cot was by Choice Cots, and this time our testers were pleased to find a cot which is simple to put together, unlike others we looked at. On the minor side, our testers did not like the fact that the side of the cot did not drop down, making it difficult to pick up newborn babies. However, the real problem with this cot was the space between the bars. Our testers found they were too wide and a baby could easily trap his head. We felt this was a real safety hazard and so we've labelled this one dangerous, I'm afraid. Before you hear the rest of the programme, you have some time to look at questions 18 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 18 to 20. And finally, better news for the mother's choice cot. This cot was slightly different in that although the sidebar did not drop down, the base could be raised or lowered into two different positions, making it safe as well as convenient. The negatives for this one were quite minor. The only niggle everyone had was the fact that it has no wheels and the only other problem anyone could find was that there were pictures, which were simply stuck on and so could easily become detached. The makers have now promised to discontinue this practice, as this cot will then be safe in every way. We have made the Mother's Choice cot our best buy. Congratulations, Mother's Choice. So what features should you look for in a baby's cot? Well, obviously, safety is a very important factor, as well as comfort and convenience. We recommend that if you are buying a cot, do make sure that any metal present is not rusted or bent in any way. You should ensure your cot has only rounded or smooth edging without any sharp edges. This is especially important for wooden cots. And now, on to beds for toddlers. That is the end of Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Support us by clicking on the like button and leaving your comments here. Thank you.